plus and morning to my dear lovable students i hope you all are fine in this conversation we are going to continuation of example from equivalence relation i am moving to example 1.13 question in the set of z integer define m related gain if m minus n is a multiple of 12 prove that or is an equivalence relation so what is the meaning of equivalence relation reflexive transitive symmetric each and every type is satisfied means we can say that is called equivalence relation okay first i am moving to reflexive so reflexive means what is the meaning so a related to a that is already we know that is for all a comma a isn't it the condition if it example 1 2 3 is there means 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 satisfied means but the given relation m related to n means we can consider for m related to m so m related to m means we can consider m minus n we have taken m related to m means definitely we can say m minus m isn't it so m minus m so m minus m definitely value will be zero so how to split the zero multiple of 12 so multiple of 12 means definitely we can say zero into 12 also we have value zero therefore we can say it is reflexive it is reflexive second time symmetric so symmetric means so a comma a belongs to sorry a comma b belongs to or means b comma a also belongs to or then only we can say that is symmetric but a given condition m related to n ka consider for m comma n means first one m related to n means what is the meaning m minus n is equal to multiple of 12 means 12 into k so k we have to assume okay assume some integer okay some integer okay so therefore m related to n the same condition m minus n is there each and every time into minus means what will happen positive m means we can take a negative m minus n means plus n is equal to we can say minus 12k therefore starting positive sign means n minus m is equal to 12 into minus k see so m minus n m related to m means m minus n multiple of 12 at the same time opposite n minus m also we have multiple of 12 so sign that is not an issue we can neglect that is not an issue we have to take it what is the meaning whatever it is m minus n or n minus m we have the proof of value multiple of 12 therefore definitely we can say n minus m we can write no n related to m so n related to m therefore it is symmetric then third condition transitive isn't it third condition so transitive i have taken for m comma n comma p so first one m related to n what will happen m related to n means m minus n is equal to 12k so k means some integer isn't it some integer k at the same time n related to p so n related to p means n minus p also k i have taken consider for l this is also some integer l okay therefore this is consider for equation number 1 this is consider for equation number 2 so equation 1 plus 2 means what will happen 1 plus 2 m related to n m minus n so m minus n then plus n minus p is equal to 12k plus 12l therefore minus n plus n cancel means m minus p is equal to 12k common outside means k plus l see now m minus p is there so m minus n means m related to n n minus p means n related to p therefore m minus p means we can say this is called m related to p therefore already we know what is the formula the main condition for transitive a comma b belongs to r as well as b 
comma c also belongs to r means the connected pair is in it what is the meaning so a comma b it belongs to r at the same time b comma c also belongs to r means that is connected pair means a and c so a comma c it belongs to r means it is called transitive therefore definitely we can say m related to p means it is transitive therefore reflexive also clear symmetric also clear at the same time transitive also over therefore we can say r is an equivalence relation therefore r is on equivalence relation okay i will continue the next problem so i am moving to theorem 1.1 check it your book given clear points is there some important points theorem 1.1 what it saying the number of relation set containing m elements the number of a relation set okay i have consider for set of e set of a means number of elements so number of a is equal to consider for m elements at the same time given set of a containing n elements so n elements means set of b i have taken number of b is equal to n elements now what it saying the power of set elements is given true to the power mn already we know so therefore a into b means what will happen so a into b means m into n isn't it so m into n means what the answer will come m and n therefore so how to rewrite the number of subset actually number of subset of a into b means formula 2 power n so 2 power a into b means we can say no a into b what the value m so 2 to the power mn check it in your book the given the points is clearly the power of elements 2 power mn in then another one condition also is there in particular the number of relation on a set containing n elements means so n elements means so a also same set as well as b also same therefore so a is equal to b is equal to only m or n i have consider for n means so a also same b also same means definitely n elements means this is consider for number of subset of a into b a into b means a also same set b also same set therefore we can say you know, n into n means what the answer will come n square so number of subset formula 2 to the power n n means we have taken a also same b also same element therefore n into n means 2 to the power n square so theorem 1.1 saying the same points condition then continuation of the point proof also we have to show the proof is there actually let a and b set containing m and n okay this is simple points i am moving to that condition 1 and 2 listen very carefully this is already i prove check it in your book okay theorem 1.1 first two condition it's there now the moving to another one point is there how to prove taking a is equal to b means i have shown a is equal to b means what the point we have we have the result the number of relation set containing n elements means 2 to the power n square okay then another one condition is the number of reflexive relation on a set containing we have proof 2 to the power n square minus 1 at the same time 2 to the power n square plus 1 by 2 okay listen i have taken 1 2 3 4 and 5 then 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is consider for n means so what did one definitely 1 comma 1 then here definitely 2 comma 2 then 3 and 3 then 4 and 4 then 5 and 5 now so 1 into 2 isn't it then 1 and 3 then 1 and 4 isn't it
ட்ரூ கமா ஒன் தென் ட்ரூ ட்ரூ ஆல்ரெடி ரிட்டன் ட்ரூ கமா த்ரீ வில் கம் தென் ட்ரூ கமா ஃபோர் தென் சேம் டைம் ட்ரூ கமா ஃபைவ் தென் த்ரீ கமா ஒன் தென் த்ரீ கமா ட்ரூ தென் த்ரீ கமா ஃபோர் தென் த்ரீ கமா ஃபைவ் தென் ஃபோர் கமா ஒன் ஃபோர் கமா ட்ரூ ஃபோர் கமா த்ரீ த லாஸ்ட் ஒன் ஃபோர் கமா ஃபைவ் அகெயின் ஃபைவ் கமா ஒன் தென் ஃபைவ் கமா ட்ரூ தென் ஃபைவ் கமா த்ரீ தென் ஃபைவ் கமா ஃபோர் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் ஐ கன்சிடர் ஃபார் ஃபைவ் இன்ட்டு ஃபைவ் இஸ்ட் ஸோ ஒன் இன்ட்டு ஒன் டூ இன்ட்டு டூ த்ரீ இன்ட்டு த்ரீ ஃபோர் இன்ட்டு ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் இன்ட்டு ஃபைவ் த ஃபஸ்ட் கண்டிஷன் வாட் இட் சேயிங் த நம்பர் ஆஃப் reflexive relation already you know what is the meaning of reflexive relation for all for all means the a belongs to r means that is a comma a belongs to r means that is called reflexive therefore what are the term is equal and 1 comma 1 to the diagonal term double del double at form isn't it sorry my dear so 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 and 5 comma 5 so dot 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 if you consider for six element means definitely one more box also will come but we have taken consider for reflex element means six comma six only seven means seven comma seven therefore we can say you no know, dot 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 n comma n elements is it dot 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 n to n elements therefore the number of reflex means number of reflex relation each and every time in single elements you no know, single diagonal term that is only one way you no know. so one into then two to the power remaining the rest of the elements what what is the rest of the element 2 to the power remaining here also n term is there here also rest of the elements opposite side also n term here also n elements therefore n and n means definitely we can say you know n square minus of this is single time now 1 2 3 4 5 it's moving on this is single element means so that's a minus n therefore 1 into why we are taking minus n because reflexive means except this term now except to minus 1 this is a single diagonal term therefore 1 into anything means value definitely 2 to the power n square minus 1 the first condition 2 to the power n square minus n then second one the number of symmetric what is the meaning of symmetric so a comma b it belongs to r means b comma a also belongs to r then only we can say it is symmetric therefore look at there remaining the term this is 1 comma 2 means 2 comma 1 1 comma 3 means 3 comma 1 1 comma 4 means 4 comma 1 1 comma 5 means 5 comma 1 so each and every time so 3 comma 2 means 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 means 4 comma 2 2 comma 5 means 5 comma 2 so we have two different type of the symmetric this is upper side triangle means this is definitely we can say lower side of triangle symmetric form therefore this is how many ways possible two ways possible therefore this is how to rearrange it the term so symmetric form true power the same condition opposite side is there means definitely we can say no, 2 to the power n sorry my 2 to the power n no 2 to the power n into rest of the elements again 2 to the power n square minus n why we are taking the minus n except this term because symmetry except this term but upper triangle and lower triangle how many times is it two times there that's why we are taking divided by total elements so divided by upper triangle one lower triangle one therefore both of add means two times now already we know the condition a to the power m into a to the power n base will say means power we can equating now power equating means n plus n square minus n divided by true therefore sorry my dear this is only one term no therefore true indian means true n plus n square minus n divided by true true n minus n means n plus n square divided by true therefore n square plus n divided by true this is our symmetric form n square here also 2 to the power isn't it because a to the power n means a to the power m plus n here we can write no this is 2 to the power consider okay because base will same no here also 2 to the power means definitely 2 to the power 2n minus n means n plus 
n square by 2. Therefore, we can write now 2 to the power n square plus n by 2. This is the way, okay. I will continue the exercise problem. We stay on the line. Exercise 1.2. Question number 1. Given 5 subdivision is there. So, one by one we can discuss the main condition. Discuss the following relation. Reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Subdivision 1. The relation R defined on the set of all positive integer. So, positive integer, the condition m related to n means if m divides n, each and every term we have to check it. First, I am moving to reflexive. So, reflexive means the condition m related to n. What is the meaning for all term? a comma a belongs to r. So, a comma a condition m means definitely we can say m related to m. So, m related to m means m divided by m. Therefore, every elements, how to finish this line? Every elements divided by itself. So, condition here, 2 means 2 divided by 2, 3 means 3 divided by 3. Then variables z means z divided by z, k means k divided by k, like that. So every element divided by itself means we can say it is reflexive. It is reflexive. Second one, symmetric. So what is the meaning of symmetric? So a comma b, it belongs to R means b comma a also belongs to R. The given m related to n means we can write it m related to n means. So m divides n, isn't it? m divides n. So m divides n means example m is equal to 10, n is equal to 5 is there, okay? n is equal to 5. So m divides n means definitely 10 by 5 possible, isn't it? So 10 by 5 will get it true. So okay, at the same time, n related to m isn't it so n related to m how to rewrite actually what is the meaning n divides m n divides m so n divides m means 5 by 10 you will get same value or different value so some fraction value will come compare some fraction term will come isn't it comparing the first term therefore definitely we can say n divides m means definitely n n does not related to m therefore it is not symmetric so we will get it fraction term therefore it is not symmetric third one transitive so third one transitive consider for m comma n comma p it belongs to z all positive integer no condition for integer means the first term, what is the meaning? M related to, M related to N means condition, M divides N. Therefore, M divided by N means, consider for K means. Next condition, N related to P. So, N related to P means, N divides P, isn't it? So, N divides p therefore n by p another one constant okay l this is constant for one this is constant for true means one into true what will happen m divided by n into n divided by p means k into l isn't it therefore n n cancel means m m divided by p is equal to k into l therefore m is equal to k l into p Therefore, we can say, no, m is equal to some multiple by p, isn't it? Therefore, m is equal to, so therefore, m is equal to multiple of, so multiple of p means definitely we can say, no, m related to p. So, m related to n, n this is connected pair means definitely m related to p means, m related to p means it is, transitive okay sometimes at the same question 
whether it is an equivalence relation question is available means we can say it is not equivalence relation why the second condition it's not satisfied reflexive also satisfied at the same time transitive also satisfied but reflex symmetric it's not satisfied that's why we are saying it is not an equivalence relation okay if there is available means that part after writing the same question whether we have to say the final term equivalence relation or not means or not means we can say it is not an equivalence relation i will continue the subdivision true subdivision true let p denotes the set of all straight lines in a plane the relation r is defined by l related to m the main condition perpendicular okay i am moving to first condition reflexive so reflexive means definitely l related to m is there means we can say for all time means definitely we can write it l related to l only so we can sure it is not possible so it is not possible a line perpendicular okay this is symbol perpendicular so a line perpendicular to itself okay okay perpendicular to itself so it not possible means it is not reflexive so definitely not possible no if you take one perpendicular line means this is one letter means this is another one letter that's why we are saying it is not possible to a line to perpendicular to itself okay i'm moving to second one symmetric now symmetric means l related to m means l related to m means we can write it l is perpendicular to m at the same time m related to l means so m is perpendicular to l so possible no because this is line m means this is line l therefore l related to m comparing means l is perpendicular to m at the same time m is perpendicular to m means m is comparing means this is perpendicular to l therefore it is symmetric next one transitive so transitive means three time isn't it consider for l m and n okay first l related to l related to m means we can say l is perpendicular to m at the same time m related to n means so m is perpendicular to n this is we need to draw the diagram already l related to m is there no so l is perpendicular to m this is consider for equation number 1 means the same time okay another one perpendicular line this is m is there but actually it's second one m is perpendicular to n this is consider for n so this is equation number 2 means from 1 and 2 look at very clearly so from 1 and 2 this is 1 and 2 means so at the same time l and n parallel no this is comparing from 1 and 2 l and n is parallel so from 1 and 2 l and l and m is parallel is parallel therefore therefore it is not transitive therefore the here two condition is not satisfied isn't it reflexive also not so not satisfied at the same time transitive also not satisfied okay i will continue subdivision third subdivision third condition let a be consisting of all the member of family so all the member of family family means consider for father mother daughter and the son okay now the relation or defined by a related to b a is not 
sister of B. Not, okay. Condition you have to keep in your mind, not. So, A is sister of B. It's not a question. Actually, A is not a sister of B. I am moving to condition number 1, reflexive. So, what is the meaning of reflexive? So, definitely A related to A, isn't it? So, A related to A. Definitely the condition, definitely not possible, no. I say only one man means definitely not a possible to at the same person. That's why A is not a sister of. So, A is not a sister itself, isn't it? Sister itself. The condition also not no. Therefore, we can say no, it is reflexive. Definitely, father is not a sister of father itself. Mother is also not a mother of itself. Doctor also, it's not possible to itself. That's why I can say it is reflexive. Second term, symmetric. Okay. Consider for father is a not a sister of mother. Clear. Mother is a not a sister of daughter. Okay. At the same time, father is a not a sister of daughter. At the same time, daughter is a not a sister of father. Okay. Clear. The first three condition is comparing means clear. But next two cases, that is daughter and son. What will happen? First related D or D related to yes, the daughter and the son. Definitely we can say daughter is not a sister of son. Okay. First condition statement is true. Statement is true. But second one, change it. Son related to daughter. So, son, possible, no? Son is a sister of daughter. Son is a sister of daughter. Therefore, statement false, no? Statement is false. Okay. Therefore, it is not symmetric. Okay. Next one. Last one, transit, isn't it? So, transitive, the same condition. Father, mother, daughter and son. So, consider for uh, FMD means what will happen? Definitely we can say father is a not a sister of mother. Clear. At the same time, mother is a not a sister of daughter. Clear. Then father is a not a sister of daughter. Okay. The first three condition is clear. Next three cases look at there. Mother is a not a sister of daughter. Clear. Daughter is a not a sister of son. That is also possible. But Last first and last mother is a not a sister of son. Okay, clear. But just interchange these three condition. Consider for D M S that is daughter because possible no daughter and mother and son. First one considering D true M that is D related to M. What will happen? Daughter is a not a sister of mother. Daughter is not a sister of mother. Okay, statement is correct, no? Statement is true. Then at the same time, comparing mother and son. So, M related to yes, mother is not a sister of son. This is also statement is true. Third one, this is connected term means D and yes, isn't it? D related to yes. Daughter, possible, no. Daughter is a sister of son. Daughter is a sister of son. Therefore, 
statement is false. Statement is false. It is not transitive. Okay. So I will continue subdivision four. So next session. Okay. So please listen, my dear students. So I am moving to some important questions. I hope you are satisfied in this session. If you have any doubt, please put in comment box. I am ready to clarify your doubts. Okay. I will continue the next session. Bye bye.